welcome back to another Tune In at Two video. Um, as you can see, we are going to hang out with the chicas today. So, this one is Ollie. And this one here is Vader. They're both about three years old. And although not brothers by blood, they did grow up together. Ollie over there was a single cub litter. And oftentimes, even in the wild when that happens, moms will not take care of them. That is so that they can try again to have a more successful litter with more than one cub because in the wild that just makes more sense for survival. So cheetahs are, I would think, one of the most recognizable animals from the African savanna. So let's talk about that. They've got those spots, right? And those are true spots. It's just one black dot. Whereas on a leopard, their spots are kind of an open circle with sometimes another dot in the middle. Those are called rosettes. So there is a difference between cheetah print and leopard print. And that open spot of the circle is a good way to tell them apart. Uh, those very recognizable black lines that they have going down their face, uh, those help keep the sunshine out of their eyes when they are running, walking, pretty much anything in the savanna. It's good because they can see really long distances and that's how they find their prey. And so it's good that they don't have the sunshine in their eyes. Um, their tails are much longer than most other big cats compared to their body. And they're also actually flat down the sides and that works almost exactly like a boat rudder. So when they're running, that tail's gonna whip one direction and their body's gonna whip the other direction. It works really well for steering and really well for balance. They're gonna walk away and that's okay. They are enjoying having access to all of their exhibit space since we are close to the public. Uh, they've got those really long legs, also great for running. <laughs> and their nails are actually, they're the only big cats that their fingernails do not retract. They are out all of the time. And that is really great for when they need to take off running at a moment's notice. They can grip on the ground and push off with those. So those are most of the notable uh, body uh, distinctions of a cheetah. They're pretty handsome. Are you gonna come back and say hi? So these guys' conservation status is vulnerable they are not yet considered endangered, but their populations have declined a lot over the last 10 years, and unfortunately they are continuing to decline. Um, that is due, of course, to climate change and to droughts in Africa. It affects not only them directly, but it affects their food sources and the watering holes around them. Of course, every animal needs water. And uh, so there is a really different conservation project for these guys than you think of most. Not only do zoos around North America breed them, of course, but uh, the, Cheetah Concert, the Cheetah Conservation Fund also has a program where they raise um, guard dogs and give them to farmers in Africa. And those guard dogs keep predators away from their livestock, usually goats and sheep. Um, and for a long time, cheetahs in Africa were just considered pests and people thought that they were taking their livestock a lot, um, which oftentimes wasn't even true because these guys hunt during the day and most of the time when your livestock goes missing at night is usually due to a different type of predator that is more nocturnal. So um, for a long time, cheetahs in Africa would just be shot on sight because people viewed them as a pest. And um, for before, 1994 is when this program started. Um, it was estimated that farmers were shooting up to 800 cheetahs a year. So that's taking a lot of the population out in a really short time. But with this program, it started in 1994 with the Cheetah Conservation Fund. They started working with the farmers there. They were very cooperative and happy. They don't necessarily want to be killing the cheetahs, but they need their livestock. That's their lifestyle. And so, we were providing these guard dogs, and cheetahs are a lot of talk and not a lot of walk. They're not really the tough guys of the savanna. Um, they'll hiss and they'll kind of slap their paws at you, but they're not that strong compared to, of course, you know, lions and hyenas. So if something else is competing for their food, they're usually gonna run away. So 
You provide these big guard dogs with a big bark and it usually scares cheetahs away and even other predators. So that program has been really amazing and really helpful for cheetah conservation as well as other predators as well that are not being shot on site because people think they're taking their livestock. Um, they think that, or they have placed, I want to say well over 250 dogs in the last five to ten years. Um, so that's a huge difference and however these guys numbers are still only about 7,000 adult individuals left in the wild. Um, that's really not a lot considering not even three years ago it was at least at 10,000. So they're declining really quickly and unfortunately with populations that small you also run into problems like inbreeding which can cause birth defects which causes less individuals to survive into adulthood. So it's this long chain of events and once the population starts decreasing, it's really hard to get those numbers back up. So even though they're not considered endangered right now, it's really important that we start that conservation and that protection now while we have those individuals and can use them to breed and to widen the gene pool. And so, yeah, these guys are really interesting cats. Um, I'm not sure where they went, but that's okay. They wanted to sign off early. So thank you for joining in for another video, and I hope when the zoo opens up, you can come and you can see these boys in person. Bye!